Good morning, it's great to see you today. It's Wednesday the 26th of January 2022 and well January just closing out here now and um, yeah it's amazing how quick how quick time goes um, and that was a bit like the verse that we looked at yesterday wasn't it? It says people are like the grass. The beauty is like the flower in the field and the grass withers and the flower fades but the word of the Lord remains forever. Isn't it great that we serve a constant God. Um, it says the same. Jesus is the same. Or God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God's promises are the same. He is faithful. He is true. He is never changing. He is always loving. He is full of love. He is ever faithful. And his promises are yes and amen. And um, so that was what we read yesterday. And it says, and uh, clicking over into verse 2, and it seems a funny way where they've just put the verse here because it says and this was the word this was the last the very last half of 25 and that word is the good news that was preached to you so so this thing that those two things really should to me in my mind should be together you know obviously the verses and chapters were put there for our benefit later on it wasn't how peter wrote it it was um these were put here just to help us for referencing so i can say today we're going to be looking at oh 2 P 1 Peter 2 verse 1 um, but I'm going to read that a little bit just beforehand and it says this and and that word uh, and and that word is the good news that was preached to you amen so get rid of all evil behavior be done with all deceit hypocrisy jealousy and all unkind speech <clears throat> so because the good news was preached to you, because you have been born again, because you are, you know, the old is gone, you are a new creation. You are a new creation. Like it or not, if you're born again in the Spirit of God, the new has come, the old is gone. So don't say, oh, this is what I'm like. No, you're not. You're not, because you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You are now, you are now designed. You are now the, the, the template is for you to be like Jesus. And um, yes, uh, it doesn't happen uh, it happens, you know, over time. Um, there'll be, but there will be change. It involves change in our lives so that we can become more like Jesus. That is our. That should be our role. That should be our aim to become more like Jesus. Because when we become more like Jesus, then people will look at us and they'll see not us, but they'll see Jesus shining through us. I, I've said this a long time ago, but um, this guy who we knew, who we knew him in Shetland, and this guy called Eddie Watt. And I'm going to get to come to church sometime if you, if you'll come and speak. But his eyes were like, <clears throat> his eyes were like on fire. He radiated Jesus, and he was just, it was just a, a beautiful guy. And uh, just in terms of Jesus shining through him, and you could see that. And that's what God wants for each and every one of us. So get rid, you know, first of all, get rid of all evil behaviour. So if you're born again, he just said quite simply, get rid of it all. Get rid of them. Stop it. Just stop it. Because you are, because God is love. <clears throat> and now that is your, if you like, that's what you are, you are made in the image of God. And God is love. So if God is love, guess what? You are love. So we need to get rid of all that behaviour. And then it says this, which I like this, be done. Be done with this. It's a bit of American, isn't it? So, but it, but it obviously is American translation. But I like that. Be done with all deceit hypocrisy jealousy and all kind speech this has no place in the life of the, of the of the christian this has no place all deceit we should not be deceitful saying you know being a bit sneaky to try and get our own way or be you know trying to mean deceitful saying one thing but really meaning the other that the bible says that is like a double james is like, like a double-minded person unstable in all his ways so do not be deceitful we're called to speak truth, but to speak the truth in love. Not just point the finger and like load the gun up, <coughs> fire the gun. <coughs> We're called to speak the truth in love. Not to be deceitful, not to lie, not to say one thing meaning the other, but we are to but we are to uh, to speak the truth in love. I've heard so many times people saying, like, I'm speaking this the truth in love to you, brother. There was no love to do with it at all. It was just they were just making their point and um, just getting their point across, and they didn't care who they hurt in doing it. That is not right. 
that is not right. So don't be deceitful. Don't be hypocrite. This is one of the things Jesus ha hated. Maybe not hated, maybe hated is the wrong word, but one of Jesus' things he criticised the Pharisees for was he criticised them. He said, your hearts are far from me. You say one thing and you do the opposite. You say this and do that and do the other, but and you put these impertinence on them, but you don't do this yourself. That hypocrisy. Saying one thing and doing the other. You know, as a Christian, we we all we're all hypocrites in one sense away because of you know. In, in, but our aim should be to become more like Jesus. Jesus spoke the truth in love, and he 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 was not hypocrite. So, jealousy. Do not be jealous. In fact, actually, there's a, there's a consequence of jealousy. It tells us in Proverbs that jealousy rots the bones. If So if you're jealous of other people, actually, it's really destructive. It's destructive to you as a person. So, so, so don't even do it, even if you're not a Christian, don't even do it. But especially as a Christian, it is harmful to you. And all unkind speech. You know, we... I've seen so many Christians criticise other Christians, either on social media or, or, or to their face or even behind their back. Listen, the Bible says that we should speak to one another with psalms, with songs, with encouraging words, with encouraging one another. We should build one another up. This is what it says, build one another up in the most holy faith. We should encourage someone. If you see something in someone and you think, mm, that's not so good, Listen, it's not your job to put them right necessarily. It's his job. It's the Holy Spirit. Pray for them. Pray that the Holy Spirit would speak to them. And then if you are called, and it, you probably won't be, but if you are called to speak to them, make sure you speak the truth in love. You do it with the gentleness, with the mercy of Jesus, as Jesus has forgiven you for your sins. Listen, I hope that's been helpful today. So let's have a great day. Get rid of all evil behaviour, hypocrisy, deceit, jealousy and all unkind speech. And guess what? Do you know what? Things will go well for you. You will be blessed by God. Take care. I'll see you again tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.